What's good, everyone? Welcome back. It's March 23rd, 2024. And the topic of today's video, for the second time in a little over a week, is Catherine, Princess of Wales. After a couple weeks of speculation regarding Kate's health, she came forward yesterday, March 22nd, to announce that she has been diagnosed with cancer. As we always do on this channel, we'll be discussing the numerology of this news story, which is an extension of the same riddle I discussed in last week's video, which is linked in the description down below. As that thumbnail shows, this is once again centered around the very special 1331 Eclipse Code, which I first brought to light over seven years ago on my first YouTube channel. Per usual, there's a lot to unpack here, and I'll be going over several different posts, which will show how yesterday's news had a boatload of synchronicity, connecting it to Princess Diana, the former Princess of Wales, and the death of Queen Elizabeth. Speaking of Queen, I will also show how former Queen singer Freddie Mercury is tied in. Mercury died in 1991, the same year as a rare Middle Eclipse. Think about the name Middleton. Middle Eclipses will be a topic of this video. And Middle Eclipses are pretty rare. You look at the 20th century, we only had two. And there's only one this century, the one back in 2020. So middle eclipses will be a topic of this video, something very interesting. And this will also bring us to a major coronavirus section as well, as mercury is used as a preservative in vaccines. But before we get to that, I need to get back to this 1331 code, which brings us to the British Metalcore group Architects, whose co-founder Tom Cyril died of cancer in 2016. Now, this may seem like an unusual connection, uh, but I assure you, there's something very strong with this. So first off, think about astrology. I talk about this very often when it comes to story about cancer. The astrological symbol for cancer is a sideways 69. Notice how in the reduction form of gematria, the phrase cancer diagnosis sums to 69. And yesterday's news fell on a date with primary numerology of 69, very similar to the birth numerology of Princess Diana, also born on a 69 date. In 2017, a guitarist named Josh Middleton joined the band Architects, a British metalcore group, whose former guitarist and co-founder, Tom Cyril, died of cancer. Two years prior to his death, Architects released an album that featured a song called Cancer. You'll see it's the seventh track here. And this was made after Tom discovered that he had a tumor. Well, in Reduction Gematria, notice how Architects, Cancer, also has this 69 value associated with it. And 69 is a major eclipse number. Eclipse, eclipse of the sun, and eclipse the sun. All with values of 69 in the base gematria ciphers, which were on the screen earlier in the beginning of the video. So Tom recorded one more album with the architects. And it was released just a few months before his death in 2016. That album was called All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us. And it featured an image of a total solar eclipse. That album came out 218 days after Tom Cyril's birthday on May 27th. And additionally, May 27th, is the 218th day of the year. Well, in the reverse cipher of Gematria, notice how the name Kate Middleton sums to 218, which as I showed in my last video is also the Hebrew value for the word moon. In the standard alphabetic order, her name sums to 133. And when Tom died, on August 20th of 2016, that's the date that leaves 
133 days in the year. Yesterday, when Kate made her cancer diagnosis public, Tom Searle would have been 13,300 days old exactly. However, if you include the end date in that measurement, you also get a span of 13,301 days. And of course, with the zero ignored, as we customarily do in numerology, this represents the number 1331. Now, in my video last week, when I talked about Kate Middleton, I talked about the number 1919 and how the two total or the two solar eclipses that year had the same dates as JFK's birth and death, May 29th and November 22nd. Those were the dates of the two 1919 solar eclipses. When you write out the number 1331, it sums to 1919. Well, interestingly enough, this album cover that features the solar eclipse is an inverted image of the May 1919 solar eclipse. So if you look at this image, taken from the May 1919 eclipse. And if you invert the colors, you can tell that it's the same image that they use on their album. Tom Searle was born a span of 2114 days after Kate Middleton. In English standard gematria, which is the cipher that most closely resembles ancient Hebrew and Greek isopsophy, the name John Fitzgerald Kennedy sums to 2,114, and in ordinal, it sums to 233. Well, Tom Cyril died on August 20th, which was the 233rd day of a leap year. And also in the alphabetic order, the phrase 1331 equals 233. So all of this is pretty incredible considering what I already shared on this channel last week with this 1331-1919 combination. It really is wild, but let's take a closer look at how this connects to JFK. Now what we'll discover is that based on this being March 22nd, or 322, there's a major riddle connected to Skull and Bones a secret society at Yale University. And it just so happens that on March 22nd, the same day we got this news, Yale University, home to Skull and Bones, got just their second victory in the history of the men's college basketball tournament, upsetting number four seed Auburn. And uh, there's some fun riddles with this Idaho marching band that took Yale's place for the game. But this just goes to show you how spot on my videos tend to be, especially when it comes to this Yale and Eclipse numerology. Now, if you take the numbers 32 times 2, you get a product of 64. Well, notice how yesterday's news fell exactly 60 years and 4 months after the death of John F. Kennedy. Skull and Bones in Satanic Gematria sums to 604. Satanic Gematria, a cipher completely constructed around the number 666. But what if you instead just look at the number of months? This is also 724 months exactly. Well, once again, this is the number that the Brotherhood of Death, which is the other nickname for Skull and Bones, shares with number of the beast 724 in latin gematria also in latin gematria the phrase princess kate has cancer also equals 724. so let's talk a little bit more about how this connects to yale because recently just this past october we had a very significant date for Yale University when they turned 322 years old. Skull and crossbones in ordinal equals 223. 
that special anniversary for Yale fell 322 lunar phases after the death of Princess Diana back in 1997. And this also stands out because when that song named Cancer was released by the Architects, check out Kate's age on that date, 32 years, 2 months, and 3 days. A combination of the 322 and 223. With capital letters taken into account, you'll see this cipher, capitals mixed, maintains the alphabetic order. The name Catherine sums to 165, and Catherine made her news public 165 days after the Secret Society's anniversary. That's also 166 days with the end date, like Secret Society in Ordinal. Kate's cancer diagnosis also hit the press 9,700 days after Princess Diana died. And remember, Diana died in the year 97. The word death equals 97. 7,497 days between Diana's and Catherine's birthdays. This is also the value of both skull and crossbones and Brotherhood of Death, both 97 in Gematria. So no question, we're looking at something far beyond a random coincidence here. So let's talk a little bit more about this middle eclipse riddle that we're uh, going to look at here. And to understand this, let's quickly review these two great American total solar eclipses stamping a cross over the United States, much like the bones forming a cross under the skull of skull and bones. Well, if you measure between the two great American eclipses from 2017 and 2024 next month, they're separated by exactly 82 lunar phases, or synodic months. Another measurement of the moon is called a sidereal month, which is a couple days shorter. And notice how Yale's 322nd anniversary was exactly 82 sidereal months after the first Great American Eclipse. March 22nd, yesterday, was the 82nd day of a leap year. Now, if you look at the exact halfway point between the two Great American Eclipses, in 2020, there was a total solar eclipse over Argentina. And it was exactly 1,212 days after the first eclipse and 1,212 days before the second. This eclipse in 2020 also started brown lunation number 1212. And in Sumerian Gematria, the alphabetic order times 6, total solar eclipse equals 1212. And think about this, right? This eclipse, the middle point between the two uh, great American eclipses, reminding us again of the name Middleton. But what's really so fascinating about this is that December 14th of 2020, the date of that eclipse, on that very same date, the first COVID vaccines were administered in the United States. In Satanic Gematria, the name Catherine Elizabeth Middleton equals 1212, her full birth name, sharing the lunation number with that middle eclipse. So this album cover here, You'll notice that with this inverted image, the sun's corona is highlighted. The corona is the name of the gaseous envelope, or the sun's upper atmosphere, which is only visible during a total eclipse. Their other album that featured the song Cancer was released on March 11th of 2014. And March 11th, was the date 
that coronavirus was declared a global pandemic. And there's definitely a strong riddle here with Catherine getting cancer. You know, we've been told there's a cancer epidemic in the United Kingdom and in the United States. And this goes back several decades, but it seems to be getting worse lately. And in the late 80s, certain treatments were rolled out that may possibly contribute to long-term health effects. This is just a theory. I'm no doctor. Something very strange is going on with all of this. Now, the number associated with the disease is COVID-19. And notice how the name Catherine, along with Architects, both have this gematria with capital letters, 109 and 190. Now, in my last video, I talked about this number a lot because Catherine was born on January 9th, or 1 slash 9. And on the date that she revealed her diagnosis, Tom Cyril would have been exactly 1,900 weeks old. The phrase solar eclipse equals 190, but also 73 in reverse reduction. Yesterday's news was seven years and 300 days after this eclipse-adorned album was released by the architects. Both sacrifice and ritual sacrifice some to 73. But notice how Catherine was born during brown lunation number 730. In fact, she was born on the same date as a total lunar eclipse. Yesterday was 73 days after her birthday. Also notice how that album dropped 2,873 days before next month's eclipse. Yesterday was also exactly 408 weeks after that album release. And next month's eclipse falls on the date April 8th, or 408. So there's more connected to this. Of course, I highlighted the big 12-12 sync right here. But look what happens when you measure from the date of that 2020 eclipse, when the vaccines were first administered here in the States. And recall, this was just one week after they were approved in the United Kingdom, which was the first country to approve them. Well, if you measure from that 2020 eclipse to the date of this news, you get a span of 170 weeks and five days. In the alphabetic order, Diana's name, Diana Francis Spencer equals 175. In reverse, her name sums to 338. Well, this same measurement is also three years, three months, and eight days. The phrase Princess of Wales sums to 67. So does COVID-19 and total solar eclipse. 67 happens to be the 19th prime number. Again, like the number of the disease, COVID-19. And not only does Catherine equal 109, but Diana Spencer, her common name, also 109 ordinal. In fact, Catherine's husband, Prince William, also has 109 birth numerology to go along with her 109 birthday. Yesterday was exactly 19 lunar phases after the death of the queen, which equals 19 in reverse reduction. And again, there's 19 years in the moon's metonic cycle, which syncs up the lunar calendar with the solar calendar. And now we're also talking about Yale University. Look at how Yale was established on October 9th, the date written 10-9. Yale was founded in the year 1701, and look at how many weeks separate the birthdays of Diana and Catherine. Exactly 1,071 weeks contains the same four digits as 1701. The name Kate Middleton has ordinal gematria of 133, which we saw earlier. And this is, of course, important because in Latin gematria, 
The number 133 is one of those numbers that sums to 1331. And am I crazy, or does cancer diagnosis also sum to 264? It does. Just like 133. Anyway, the reason I bring this up is because in Latin, coronavirus equals 1303. Well, in standard gematria, coronavirus equals 1163. Catherine Elizabeth Middleton sums to 1163 in Latin. 1163, once again, is the 192nd prime number. This is the number of days between Diana's and Catherine's birthdays. Princess Kate, 192, just like Eclipse, 192. In my last video, I talked about this connection because the 19th of February, or 219, is the date that Adobe Photoshop was first released. Princess Diana also has this 219, just like New Haven, Connecticut, which is home to Yale University. New Haven, Connecticut sums to 219 in ordinal. And yesterday's news fell two years, 109 days after the last total eclipse. Catherine had the 219 in her age for the vaccine eclipse back in 2020 as well. So there's more I want to look at, and excuse me while I jump around my posts here, as uh, I'm not exactly going in order that I made them. <laughs> All right, so let's see the second post here. All right. So let's dive into this part of the riddle. This to me is some of the most fascinating stuff. Now, earlier I talked about this middle eclipse riddle. And typically they happen once every 30 years. But if you look at recent history, you see that they're really rare. Now, a middle eclipse, what is a middle eclipse? Well, every eclipse belongs to a Saros cycle or a Saros series. And the Saros helps us predict the next eclipse. Each eclipse from the same Saros is separated by 223 synodic months. And this is how yesterday's date would be written in the United Kingdom, 22-3, the inverse of the 322 number that we've been focusing on. So a Saros typically lasts about 1,300 years and is made up of about 70 eclipses. And you'll see here, right, each eclipse from the same Saros followed through this 1,300-year cycle. Well, the middle eclipse occurs halfway, so this would be like the 36th eclipse of a 71-eclipse cycle. And, uh, yeah, pretty rare events. And you'll see this graphic. You'll see it 1991 for a split second. This is the middle eclipse we're going to be talking about. Oh, I didn't even realize. This eclipse, this 1919 eclipse... This belonged to Saros cycle 136. And that same Saros cycle, 136, we had the maximum eclipse in 1991. You'll see the Saros number here, 136. And 1991, July 11th was the date. Now, 1991 is the year in history that Freddie Mercury passed away. And if you measure from that maximum middle eclipse to Mercury's death, you get 136 days. And again, that was Sorrow Series 136. If you include the end date, it's also 137 days. Well, the last middle eclipse was in June of 2020, an annular eclipse over India. That was Sorrow Series 137. And Kate's news fell 1,370 days after the middle eclipse from 
from Saros 137. Total eclipse and eclipse equals 137. And again, this woman's name is Middleton. So let's dive a little deeper into how Freddie Mercury is tied into all of this. When coronavirus became a pandemic in March of 2020, notice how Kate Middleton was 1,991 weeks old? Like the year of Mercury's death? Mercury died when Kate Middleton was exactly 132 sidereal months old. Now, last week, 132 is the number I pretty much led the video off with. As abdomen equals 132, that's where she had surgery. Her full name equals 132, just like Photoshop and its inventor, John Knoll. JFK with double gematria of 132. And now she's diagnosed with cancer equals 132. In ordinal, Princess Diana has that 132 as well. Freddie Mercury was born in... The the old country of Zanzibar, which no longer exists, but notice how Zanzibar has gematria of 119. Well, news of Freddie's death broke the following day, November 25th. And notice how that date was nine months and 11 days before the birthday of Freddie Mercury, whose name sums to 911. When Kate Middleton was born, Freddie Mercury was 12,911 days old. And when Kate made her cancer diagnosis public, Princess Diana would have been 22,911 days old. Yesterday was 119 days after the anniversary of Mercury's death. It was also 119 weeks after the last total eclipse. This is all going down in the year 2024. Notice how Corona has matching 224 gematria with Anthony Stephen Fauci, the WHO director who was shoved down our throats for all those years. Well, isn't it interesting that Freddie Mercury equals 224 and also 82? Well, again, yesterday was the 82nd day of a leap year. Architects guitarist Tom Cyril was born during Brown Lunation 802. And we see how this story is connected to COVID, which equals 82. You may recall that the COVID pill that they released a couple years ago has the number 82 stamped on it. Eighty-two divided by two is forty-one. And check out how the planet Mercury equals 41. Well, when Freddie Mercury died, it was exactly 41 mercurial years after Princess Kate was born. And 41, also the gematria of skull and bones, which we've been talking a lot about. Notice how yesterday's news was 293 days before Kate's birthday. That's the reverse gematria of coronavirus pandemic. When Trump announced a national emergency, it was on the date leaving 293 days in the year. And that was also the 13th of March. Or 13 slash 3 like coronavirus. Or Kate Middleton. When the vaccine got the go-ahead in December of 2020, it was exactly 29 years and three weeks after Freddie Mercury died. And check out how the name Middleton equals 293 with capital letters. Middleton also equals 147. Well, so does Catherine Elizabeth Middleton, 147. 
Kate's news fell 1,470 days after Trump's emergency declaration. Also, Yale's anniversary was 147 weeks after that vaccine eclipse. Some more interesting alignments. Again, as always, the post in this video is linked down below in the description. But what I'll end this video with is I want to talk real quickly about Yale University, who once again won an NCAA tournament game for only their second time in school history the same night as Kate's Cancer News. This game against uh, Auburn last night ended with 154 points. And when Yale won their first tournament game in 2016, that game also had 154 points. And that's interesting because 154 is the number shared by Freddie Mercury and Diana, Princess of Wales. But on top of that, guitarist Tom Ciro died when he was 1,504 weeks old. So, in last night's game, Yale did not have their marching band. Instead, the Idaho University marching band stepped in. And this is interesting because, you know, Idaho had to cross the border from Moscow into Spokane, Washington. Notice how Auburn University has matching gematria with University of Idaho. Both schools have gematria of 239. And after the game last night, Yale now has a record of 23 and 9, which is the 52nd prime number. Kate Middleton, Catherine, and Architects all equal 52. Yale's first tournament victory was the same year that the Architects guitarist died. Now, back in 2022, you may recall there was this news story. We had a stabbing at the University of Idaho, and the man accused of these killings crossed over the border from Washington University to Idaho University, right? And now we have Idaho University crossing over into Washington. Well, last night's game was one year, four months, and nine days after the stabbings at Idaho. Skull and bones equals 149 in the alphabetic order. Yale's two tournament victories were 107 sidereal months and three days apart. Yale University equals 173. And the date of their first win was the 17th of March, 17-3. Yale University sums to 79. They had 79 points in that win over Baylor. So I think that just about covers it for everything I wanted to touch on today. Well, I guess one more thing that's of some interest is, you know, I was thinking about this phrase architects, right? Architects. Well, Kate Middleton is one of the most powerful women in the world. You know, she's in line to be the next queen consort in the United Kingdom. And an author named Harriet Beecher Stowe once said that women are the architects of society. The architects of society, right? Well, notice how architects of society equals 1112 in Latin gematria. Well, if you measure from the date Harriet Beecher Stowe was born to yesterday's news story, it was exactly 11,102 weeks. 1112. So, as always, there's always more. There's things I missed, there's more to unpack, but truly, this riddle connecting uh, Kate Middleton to the architects and the 2016 of.
death of Tom Cyril is really, really fascinating. And uh, some pretty cool music, too, by this group. Listened to some of their albums just out of curiosity and was uh, pleasantly surprised. So maybe give them a go if you're bored today. And I know you are bored because you made it to the end of one of my videos. <laughs> All right, guys. With that being said, that'll do it for this video. Check the links in the description for more if you want to see links to other educational materials, the website, the calculator, or if you'd even like to support the work, check out the memberships page at jamatronator.com for that. All right, everyone. Peace, love, God bless, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.